Hi, um, today I'm going to show you how to blend images. I went to this website called, um, it's like outer space. I just Googled outer space and then I clicked on one of the pictures and then this came up. I kind of like the ones with a lot of stars, but these are cool because they, um, they're nice big images and you just save, save the image as, and now I'm going to go into Photoshop. Let me show you how this looks when you, when you combine the images. Here's one with a portrait I used. It's student work. Um, here's one of the backgrounds. And okay. So here you go. Here's an image. And then I placed this other background on it, that image. And I erased some of it and then it looked like that. Let me find one other example. And then I'll just make it from scratch so you can kind of see. All right, this one's fun. Um, I like the silhouettes with it or the portrait. So you have this image and this image and we've changed the blending mode to screen. So, so this is what the image looks like. And then this image and then combined with screen and right, it kind of, it's kind of fun and you might need to crop it a little bit different. So let me show you how to do this. We're going to start over. I'm going to close. Well, let me save that just in case. I don't know if I saved it. And I should have actually, I should crop it first. So where's my crop tool right here? I'm going to crop it this direction. I never want to see a line like that down there at the bottom. There was a little bit of line. It all, you always want your image to look like it's one image and that there's no break in it anywhere. So if you're on um, a Chromebook, you're going to save it. Space example. Um, you're going to save it. Uh, you're going to say export, export as. Okay, so I'm going to close these now. This one's cool. All right, closing it. All right, this one's cool because um, let's undo, delete the layer, undo, blending. I did a, I sharpened it to see what that would look like, but I wanted to show you how I made this. Um, okay, so here it is. We back it up. So here's the, here's the, the image. Then I put this image on top, right? And stars. And then um, and then I added, I cut out a piece, I cut out a piece right here and um, made it for the eyes. So I, I just copied and pasted it, put them in the eyes. So that was kind of fun. If we zoom in, command plus. You don't wanna just throw two images together. You really wanna, and then I actually shaped it and cut it out. So. What I could do is show you exactly how I made this image. Start over. Let me see. Close all. Oh yeah, this is a good one too. Look at this one. Um, starting off, and thank you to the students who, this is a day in the life of uh, one of my students' sister. And then I combined this image with this image, this image, and then I added two of the picture, I added two to make it like darker. You can duplicate the same subject and I mixed it in there. Anyway, it's fun to play with the layers and stuff, but I was gonna show you how I did these. So let me start, let me just say revert. Here we go. Revert, Let's go back. Okay, so here's the image. And I'm gonna say file, let's see. I'd say file open and open up my, yep. File, open, I'm gonna open up an, a space picture. I'm sorry, I think they're in my downloads, yep. Space, here we go, this one. Okay, so I have two tabs here, one, two. I'm gonna drag this image in, like that. Um, if you're on a Chromebook and you're in um, Cameo, you may need to just select the whole thing like this, select it, and then you go edit, copy, which is control C in um, a Mac, it's command C. And then you can go over here and say command V, 
or edit paste control V okay and it pasted it there notice I have two I'm gonna close it I have two over here I can just throw that in the trash now this is um, a giant picture compared to this usually I would look at my um, image size my image size ooh it says it's 42 by yikes let's change that your resolution should be at about 150 and you want it to resample it you want to uncheck that box because you want it to use the pixels that it has to make this so it doesn't so it's not making it bigger it's actually borrowing from that and um you could do watch if i did 300 now it's 10 by 13. and generally that'd be like the perfect size but we are we're going to just do this and make it 150. oops i'm going to i'm going to resample it now and go back to 10 by 13 and watch it'll get smaller let me say okay so yes and now I'm going to make, I'll use, I'm going to open up that, um, that space one again, because I want it to be the nice, big, full resolution. So I'm going to drag it on top. You can drag it um, or you can copy and paste it. Just make sure you're on the right layer. I think I have a, yeah, it's there. You just can't see it because the light, the eyeball was turned off. It still looks tiny. Weird. Okay, why does it look so little? Image size. Okay, it just must be small. Command T, Command T or Control T or Edit to Transform. Let me show you. I'm gonna go to Edit. You can say Transform to Scale or you can do Free Transform and let you do all of these in one. I like Free Transform. And then what we could do over here is look at this. This is your layers, okay? Your layers window, which you can usually move around. And you can usually, you know, scale it. Sometimes you need to drag it out. Um, if you change the blending mode here to screen, it gets rid of all the black color, right? And it just burns it into the white. So generally when you have a lot of white in the picture, you use screen. And if you have a lot of black in the picture, you use multiply. And play around with those. There's a bunch in here. You can actually see they all do something different. But I really like, and this is multiply. Multiply gets rid of the, the white. See that? I'm going to just get rid of the black. There we go. So I like how that looks. That's cool. So it's like a little thing around his face there. And then I can recrop it. You always want your crop to really look good. So I'm gonna crop it right, keeping that in the middle. I'm not sure if I wanna see his logo, his band's logo in this, I'm not sure. But I kinda like it cropped there, hmm, let's see. All right, now look, it didn't look finished to me, like that looks cool, but it looks like it needs something else. So that's when I decided, and always go back to your move tool, here's your move tool, that's what I call that. Um, otherwise you keep on doing the last, thing we're doing so let's look at, at this and how we can find something that's what i did as i found i cut out a little piece here which i used for the eye and i just copied it you just go copy control c or command c and then paste notice when you paste something it goes in its own layer so let's look i'm going to put this let's look as an eye like over, you know, or we could go back to the original one. Do I have it original and actually try to find, let's see. Let me open that up. Let me do this. That looks better. The other one looked too small. I'm pasting it. See, that one looks better. That one actually has more of a, I like guess the other one looked like all pixelated or something, but we're not going to use that one. I can throw that second one in the way in the trash. And then this one I can make smaller zoom in command plus. Um, and you just take your little tool here and I'm going to cut right along the eyelid so that it looks like it really fits there. And I think what I did at the last one is like, I think that's what I did. Yeah, and then I just got in, 
can also take the eraser. It, ooh, that's too big of an eraser. And I can just make it whatever size I want. I right clicked on that. So if you're on Cameo, you have to go up here to this. This is also, it's right here. Anyway, I know that I'm doing a lot here with Photoshop because what I want you to do is actually do this today and turn it in today. And, and not just turn it in, then I want to talk about it. I want us to talk about, um, we'll have a little rubric and we'll talk about our pictures and maybe go into breakout rooms so that we can have a little more dialogue together and build a relationship um, and interact more. And then kind of just see how we are. Cause like, if you can't even open up cameo at this point that you know, you're in trouble, that you're not sticking around with it, feeling, you know, you need to, we're going to get good at this. Okay. Look at that. His eyes look trippy. Cool. So I would save that file, save as, always has to save it as a JPEG. And then you want to rename it. Otherwise you'll keep on I'm calling this space. I've, <laughs> it's really actually best to put your name on your photos. All right, let me do one more, one more example. I'm gonna throw that away. So let's go file open. Let's see what picture do I want to use? That one was cool. Oh, I love this one. Cause it has that backlight. That's really magical already. File open. Let me see. I saved it in my downloads. Um, these are my examples. Where's the space pictures? Maybe they're on the desktop. Here they are. Okay. I'll try this. Ooh, let's try this one. Okay. So again, if you're in Photoshop, you can just drag one to the other. If it's in there, see, you can actually just drag it from that layer onto this one, click it, or you can copy and paste it. So I'm going to throw that away. And now I like to change it to screen mode so I can kind of see where I want to place it. And this is cool. And I can make it, I can erase parts of it. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger too and see what that does. Command T. Kind of cool. Look at that. I didn't try that before. I like it that she's like, it's in the middle. Like it looks far away and close up. Look at that. That's cool. Don't you think? Isn't it amazing how you can just take it? I mean, generally you want all the images to be your, your own, but obviously we can't take our own space pictures. So we're going to have to borrow from that, but you have to be careful with the images you take. You have to change it enough so that it's not recognizable so that the owner of the image doesn't get mad. All right. And then you look at your composition, like where is the, remember the rule of thirds and stuff? Like where is it? That looks a little crooked. The, the way that the uh, water line is the horizon line. So maybe we should, cause that would be annoying to our eyes if we're seeing that it's not, I think that could be cool. And you can put multiple layers. Like I could do one more space picture as well on there. And I think I did that. Before, let's just do it for fun. One more, add one more space picture. Let's try this one now. See what that does. Oops. Okay, I'm dragging it on there. All right, let's see. Change the, look at that. Pretty, that's neat. Looks weird. Kind of cool. I just like those, those pretty, um, you know, these things right here, that looks cool. And then you could take your eraser and you could smooth that out. So there, that line isn't there. See that? And also over, I have the flow on my, on my brush, on my eraser brush, brush all the way down to ten, just to 10%. So it's just erasing a little, let's look at that, how erasing. See, it's just really soft. So we want to get rid of that line and that's blending into that. And that's blending into that. And that looks beautiful, doesn't it? Pretty. So you're going to pick two pictures. Um, like you're, you could actually, you're going to get a picture from like outer space and then space. And then you're going to pick one of your pictures, maybe a silhouette, maybe a portrait, something that you have access to. And, um, 
you're going to do this right now and turn it in. And then we're going to talk about it. You're going to come back to class at a, a set time. And I'll let you know. Thank you so much. Let me turn this off.